Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Welcome uh, to the next week of the semester and the last author that we're going to be talking about in the medieval period. It's Geoffrey Chaucer and I'm guessing that you've had some f background with the Canterbury Tales uh, which is his magnum opus. It's such an incredible text and incredibly important in the history of the English language. So I'm glad I get you'll get a chance to unpack it here. So for this week, you've got a the text itself, including a, a link that I've placed in there for, to the Wikipedia page about the Canterbury Tales. It has some really helpful background information. Uh, you're not responsible for that in your writing, uh, but it is really helpful to understanding the uh, context of this story and what uh, why it's so important in uh, the English language. I'll also talk about that a good bit in the lecture video, so I suggest that you watch that as well. In there I talk more about the writing assignment that you are going to have, which is to pick two of the characters and compare them. And there's more information there, but uh, just to remind you that uh, the best writing comes not from learning everything at once and then writing it down and then it's perfect, but basically writing your way through your ideas so that you can present them effectively. Uh, and that's, what, that's why I've given you uh, so much feedback in terms of how you might revise your work. Speaking of revision, this is the week where you get an opportunity to revise uh, either of the Beowulf posts and you can actually revise both of them. Uh, so the way that will work is that you have my feedback to you. What I'll ask you to do is simply email me your revision and then I will be able to regrade your post, give you even more feedback and a reply to your email of what seemed to work in the change and then what didn't. Um, and that's normal, uh, the normal part of this process. So take a look at those comments and read those closely because those are going to be the way to get the most out of a revision assignment. So uh, please uh, have a good week. If you have any questions, feel free uh, to let me know. Everything that you need should be there in Blackboard. Just click through uh, everything in order and it should have everything uh, as you need it. I linked the seal method there as well as the uh, they say I say templates and then that revision post is at the bottom. Oh, there are uh, reading notes as well for this as we have every week. Those reading notes are not meant to be exhaustive but to introduce the ways that you can look at these specific characters. There are a few characters that I didn't mention. It isn't because they're not as important, it's just uh, I didn't want to do the work for you in other words, but if you find something of interest in some of the characters that you're focused on, take a look, give it a try and uh, see what you come up with. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. This is one of the more fun assignments uh, I think for you to write and also for me to grade because it gives you some freedom of selection. You're not trying to follow a specific pattern in those reading uh, those discussion questions but really getting a chance to explore some ideas. So uh, anyway reach out to me if you have any questions and we will talk soon. Thank you.